There were over 300 individual games requested, and of those, I narrowed it down to 12 groups of 12. Now, a winner has been determined for each of those 12 rounds, which leads us now to the finals. The winners of all 12 rounds up against each other. The winner of round one, Persona 4, RPG for the PlayStation 2. To the best of my knowledge, it involves a bunch of stand users trying to find a serial murderer that's also an enemy stand user. I mean, a bunch of Persona users trying to solve a murder mystery. The winner of round two, 3D Dot Game Heroes. Co-op for the PlayStation 3. The kingdom of Dotnia is in danger, and as the descendant of the legendary hero, you're in charge of averting this crisis. The game's a throwback to the olden days of gaming with a really pixelated style, turned 3D to help tourism. For all practical purposes, the game's a Zelda clone, and it's got any number of references to old games, the Dragon Quest series especially. The winner of round three, Disgaea, tactical RPG for the PlayStation 2. This is actually a returning game, as it placed sixth in the 1,000 subscriber special. The story involves a whole lot of over-the-top characters, some of the best personalities I've ever seen. It involves Laharl, the prince of the King of the Netherworld. The king having recently died, Laharl has decided to step up and take over the place by force. He's the hero. The winner of round four, Pokemon Rumble. Co-op for WiiWare. I guess you could call it a kind of beat-em-up dungeon crawler where you run around a Pokemon beating up other ones, going through dungeons, finding other Pokemon, and whatnot. The winner of round five, Hokuto Muso, Fist of the Fist of the North Star beat 'em up for the PlayStation 3. The game can be played co-op, I think. And if not, regardless, I'm hauling Ogre along anyway, because you can't not have Ogre there for something Fist of the North Star related. Originally, we were just going to import Hokuto Muso, but we've been informed that it's going to be coming out stateside. So, if this one wins, we're going to be waiting to start this one until we can get the English version. The winner of round six, Okami. It's actually returning as it placed eighth in the 1,000 subscriber special. You control the great god Amaterasu in wolf form, running around collecting the celestial brushes and saving the world from the impeding evil. It's an absolutely beautiful game, and it plays kind of like a Zelda game. I adore the game, personally. I'd probably be shooting for 100%, so that means getting all of the stray beads and even going through that, uh, stupid heart demon gate. Winner of round seven, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. One of the games that defined the Metroidvania genre. You control Alucard, the son of Dracula, as he runs about Dracula's castle trying to put an end to his father's deeds. As you run through, you gain power-ups, new abilities, level up, and get more powerful. I've been told there is a remake of the game with much better um, voice acting in it for one, but personally, I like how ridiculous some of the old uh, dialogue is, so I'm playing the PlayStation version. Winner of round eight, Muramasa, the Demon Blade. Beautiful game for the Wii. I suppose you could call it an action adventure. You run about the countryside beating up enemies. As you progress in the plot, you can get more powerful weapons that let you explore new areas by breaking these uh, barriers. You can forge other swords while you're going on, so you're constantly getting more and more powerful weapons. 
There are two difficulties to play on. I will probably be playing on the easier of the two difficulties, because I am bad at this game. And there are two characters to play as. I'll be playing both characters through. I'm shooting for 100%. Winner of round 9... Eternal Daughter. Another somewhat Metroidvania-type game. Indie game made for the PC. I don't know much about the story, but you play as a young girl with some weird ability to beat up dudes, and she goes about beating up dudes, trying to purge the countryside of their foul existence. Or something like that. Winner of round 10... Mega Man X Command Mission Mega Man RPG for the GameCube At least the beginning of the game seems to follow X and Zero as they're fighting against either the Rebellion or the Resistance and joining whichever one they're not fighting. I always get those two mixed up. Fighting against a group of Mavericks who want independence and to go around blowing people up freely. Seeing as, seeing as it is an RPG, it does get a good bit more complicated than that as the game goes on. Winner of round 11, Shadow of the Colossus. Yet another returning game as it placed 9th in the 1000 subscriber special. Almost as much an experience as it is a game. You run the countryside finding the 16 colossi, killing things much much bigger than you are, all in an attempt to save a woman whose connection to the hero is uncertain. I think my only qualms with doing this one is that Quadraxis did an absolutely fantastic Let's Play of the game. And finally, the winner of round 12, Legend of Zelda Four Sword Adventures. Co-op Zelda game for the GameCube. There are four links running about the countryside, trying to stop, or trying to get rid of the evil that's encompassed the countryside. Being co-op, I'll be controlling one or two or three links, and Ogre will be controlling whatever I don't control. My only concern with doing this one is that a decent portion of the game takes place on the Game Boy Advance, and I'm not really sure how to record that been mentioned that I could hook a GameCube up with the Game Boy Advance player and possibly record off that with a second Dazzle, but that just gets a little complicated. On the other hand, it may actually be kind of funny to just listen to me and Ogre screaming at each other when you guys can't see what's going on, but I imagine that would get old a little quick. And those are the 12 winners of the rounds. This is it, people! One of these 12 games will be my next Let's Play, and if anybody has any ideas about how to get Four Sword Adventures recorded better, I'm all ears. So, have a ball, everybody.